Good morning, children. Rohana, Mamie, once again. Uh, today, this is for the third standard. I it started lesson number two, in which I had written, I had read the story out to you. This tiger, uh, this tiger and the mosquito story, I had written, and I had given you small question answers to do on that. After that, I had writ, uh, written a like I had read a story about all birds which cannot fly. So that. I had given you online, I had given you, send you the class online. So that is over with. So I have come into the poem of uh, unit 2 in which we are say about a little duckling. So I will read a poem about a little duckling to you and then we will go on to the exercise part of it. Fine? So the poem goes as such children. The little duckling sees a peacock. What a beautiful tail. I want a beautiful tail. So what's a duckling children? A duckling is a small one of the duck and where do you see ducks? You see them in ponds, rivers, they, they are mostly around in water. So one day a duck, a duck is white in color with a yellow beak, correct? Have you seen ducks children? So the same manner a duck was in the pond, he was swimming in the pond, suddenly he sees a peacock, he sees a peacock uh, on land. And he says, what a beautiful tail. Peacocks have beautiful tail. Correct children, they have very colorful tail. Suddenly the little duckling has a big beautiful peacock's tail. The little duckling is very pleased. So what happens with this duckling which is small white. You can see the duckling over here. It's small white with a yellow beak. So he wishes to have a tail like a peacock. So suddenly when he wishes to have a tail like a peacock, the, duck, the duckling gets a beautiful tail like a peacock. So the duckling is very happy. Oh, I've suddenly I've got this beautiful tail like looking like a beautiful peacock. Then the duckling sees a flamingo. Children, you know what's a flamingo? A flamingo is a pink color bird which is not found in India. It's a seasonal bird. It, uh, it, that too is a water bird and it has very delicate pink legs. It's got pink feathers with delicate pink legs. So this is a flamingo. So a flamingo. Suddenly the duckling sees a flamingo. What beautiful legs. I want beautiful legs too. Suddenly the duckling has long thin pink legs. Then the duckling is very pleased. Why? So whatever he is wishing, he is getting those things. First he wished for a peacock's tail, a beautiful peacock's tail. After that he wishes for a flamingo's legs. Flamingo's legs have, they are very slim and thin and they are light pink in color. Then the duckling sees an eagle. What beautiful wings. I want beautiful wings too. Suddenly the little duckling has big brown wings. Then the little duckling is very pleased. So what he wanted first? He wanted a peacock's tail. A peacock's tail is huge, colorful. Then he wanted a flamingo's long thin legs. He gets the flamingo's legs. Then he, he sees an eagle. Now eagles are solid birds. They have big, they have a wide expanse of wings. So he wanted the eagle's wings. After that, he suddenly, as soon as he wishes for the eagle's wings, he, he gets the brown, big color eagle's wings. The little duckling then sees a cock. What a beautiful hat. I want a beautiful hat too. Suddenly, the little duckling has a big, red, handsome hat. The little duckling is very pleased. Now, what is this hat, children, that they are talking about? You have seen these cocks. They have this cocks. They have a comb on top of the uh, head. So, the duckling thinks that's a hat. Fine, so he's telling he wants, he, even he wants a red color hat. All the little duckling's friends swim in the river. The little duckling says, stop, wait for me. And as he jumps into the water, the peacock's tail, which is very heavy, obviously a duckling is a small, uh, small one of the duck, correct? So, when he's having a huge peacock, tail will he, will he be able to swim no he, he that will not allow him to swim because the tail is so heavy then his big brown wings were very heavy his long long thin pink legs cannot swim so what the duckling wanted he wanted a peacock's tail he wanted the flamingo's thin legs he wanted the cock's hat he wanted the 
uh, eagle's wings. So when he had all these children, they were hindering his swimming uh, natural ability to swim. They were very heavy, so he could not swim in the river. His handsome red hat too was very heavy and he could not breathe. Glug, glug, glug. I want a little duckling's tail and a little duckling's legs and wings and I don't want a hat. Suddenly the little duckling can swim and he can swim very well. Soon he is with his friends. So what happens children, this is just a poem, uh, this is just a, a poem in which the little duckling wants to have the beautiful tail of the peacock, the big brown wings of the eagle, the pink long thin pink legs of the flamingo. But what happens is a duckling when it swims naturally in the water when it is em embedded with all these heavy things obviously it will hinder his swimming. Fine, a duck and these are the ducklings. So when the duck is swimming in the water they will be in their natural environment. They don't need a peacock's tail to help them to swim. They don't need uh, eagle's wings to help them to swim. They don't need a flamingo's legs. They are meant to swim with their natural body in the water. So that was about the ducklings, uh, little duckling story in this uh, poem. Uh, children, your, your books have not yet come as yet children. Uh, as soon as the books come, I will be calling the third standard students to pick up the English reader, but at present the books have not yet come. So what Mrs. Duenia, Mrs. reading the lesson out to you and then I will go on to the um, exercise that you have to write in your classwork note. So for today's homework children, the first exercise you will have to do is this words and meaning. The words and meanings I have written on the board. The first one is pleased, P-L-E-A-S-E-D, pleased. Pleased means children happy, when a person is very happy. You are pleased with yourself, you are happy with yourself when you get good marks, when you get something sweet to eat, you are very happy. So that is pleased, pleased means happy. Next, the next word for, next new word over here is heavy, H-E-A-V-Y heavy so i'm even reading it aloud children if it's not visible to you on the board you can even listen to mrs video you can gauge the words what is written on the board correct heavy means it is not light heavy is a thing which you can't carry you can obviously carry light things but definitely you cannot carry things which are heavy okay heavy not light n o t l i g h t not light Fine. Next word children, next third word is handsome. Handsome. H-A-N-D-S-O-M-E. H-A-N-D-S-O-M-E. Handsome means good looking. Now children, boys, there's a difference in genders, boys and girls. So for boys you always say Ki a boy is handsome. You don't say a boy is pretty. You don't say a boy is beautiful. You always say a boy is handsome. And when you speak about girls, you always say a girl is pretty, a girl is beautiful. So there's a difference in the word, how a person looks. Either if he's a boy, he will really look handsome or if it's a girl, the girl will look beautiful. So handsome spelling children, H-A-N-D-S-O-M-E, handsome means good looking, good, G-O-O-D, looking, L-O-O-K-I-N-G, good looking. Glug. The next fourth word is glug. Glug means a sound made while drowning. So when you have seen when you swim in the water, when you can't breathe, the glug, 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 glug sound will come in the water. You will see some air bubbles and the sound that comes when a person is drowning or something is going down in the water. Drowning means going underneath water. Drowning means going underneath water. There is a kind of a sound that is made. Glug. So that is G L. UG glug means sound made while drowning. S O U N D sound, M A D E made, W H I L E while, D R O W I N G drowning. So sound made while drowning. Next one is hat. Hat is in reference to the uh, poem that I just read out. That is the coxcomb. So in the reference to the poem, hat means coxcomb, but in actual, in reality, a hat is a kind of a cap or something that you wear on your head. That is called a hat. 
So over here, it's in reference to the poem, it's the coxcomb. So children, these words meaning you have to write in your classwork note. You have to uh, put today's date, write these words meaning in your classwork note. And after that, you come down to the question answers of this lesson, which you have to write in your classwork note. So the first question out over here is, make a list of birds the little duckling sees. The make a list of the birds the little duckling sees. The first bird is the, the little duckling sees a peacock. What does, he, what does the duckling see first? It sees a peacock first. Peacock, everybody knows the spelling of peacock. P-E-A-C-O-C-K. Then it sees a flamingo. That is F-L-A. M-I-N-G-O, flamingo, it sees a flamingo, then it sees an eagle, E-A-G-L-E, -E, eagle, and a cock, so it sees four birds, it sees, a, it sees a peacock, it sees a flamingo, an eagle, and a cock, so that's the first answer here children, after that coming to the second one, which bird has long thin pink legs, everybody knows it's a flamingo, correct? Yes, so flamingo is F-L-A-M-I-N-G-O. So the bird, write only the bird's name, flamingo. It has long pink legs. Name the bird with the big brown wings. Children, in context, in context to this lesson, the bird with big brown wings is the eagle. So, Mrs. has written the answer here, eagle, E-A-G-L-E, eagle. Then the fourth question is, where do the little ducklings friends swim where do the little ducklings friends swim they swim in the river they all swim in the river so the friends of the uh, little ducklings swim in the river that is from the poem itself you get the answer the fifth question is describe the cock's hat so describe the cock's hat children the cock has a handsome red hat it's the cock's comb that is mentioned in the lesson. That means it has a handsome red hat. Handsome red hat. So these are the five questions that you have to write in your classwork note, children. This is for the third standard children. Plus you have to write these uh, five new words meaning that uh, is for, uh, connected with this lesson. And in addition to this children, you have to draw homework. You have to draw these words in your classwork note and color it take a picture and send it to rohana ma'am on the whatsapp number and i'll check it fine so the birds that you have to draw children draw pictures of a peacock fine you can draw a peacock with a beautiful uh, a tail beautiful peacock tail you can look uh, you can help uh, you take your parents help you take a picture of a flamingo which is easy to draw draw a flamingo an eagle and a cock color it and take a picture and send it to rohana ma'am on the whatsapp number i'll check and i'll get back to you with that so for the third standard children you've got all this for this uh, second unit this finishes with this you do this in your classwork note only children first you write your words meaning then you write your question answers then you come down to the picture of you how to draw a picture of a peacock flamingo eagle and a cock take a picture and send it to Rohana ma'am. That's all children. They do this homework and send it. I'll check and I'll get back to you. If you have any doubts, you can ask, uh, you can message me on a personal number. I'll get back to you. Okay children? Thank you. Take care.